Okay, here we go. Alright, hi guys, this is David. I'm making another update. This is a uh, van update now, since I've actually had my van now for probably about a week now. Uh, today's day is uh, the 21st. Actually, let me just make sure that this is, yeah, this is recording now. In fact, I'll just go ahead and give you a quick view too. This right here is a a uh, halfway made up uh, curtain that I've done so far. It's uh, definitely a, a bad job, I'll admit to that. But uh, that was just something I kind of whipped together kind of quick. That top part, though, I did actually have that already for um, pretty much a few days at least. That bottom part, I tried that last night with some uh, safety clips, uh, safety pins or whatever. That didn't, happen, that didn't actually work out too good, so what I should have done was uh, just go ahead and get myself a little sewing kit and just sewed it on there is what I should have done. But whatever, you live and learn. <clears throat> this is still a work in progress too, so this is something I'm still actually working on as I go. If you're wondering why though, it actually still is a little bit um, dark in here though, instead of me letting in some more light, it's because I'm also actually still in stealth mode right now too. I actually stayed last night at a uh, apartment complex in the um, in the parking lot. I found the parking lot where they got a pretty good size parking lot, and um, that's also why I'm trying not to talk too loud, anyways. Hopefully, you can even hear me too, for that matter. Also, too, it's raining real bad right now too, so uh, it's a mess outside today. But uh, today actually is Saturday, and. One of the things I've got going on today too is my son, we're going to be celebrating his birthday today. We're going to be going to uh, Chuck E. Cheese's today for his birthday. Originally, I was supposed to be uh, working today, but I went ahead and called off work because, you know, I f figured I'd try to go ahead and get some stuff done today and try to get ready for his birthday. And plus, uh, we're not supposed to really be working on weekends anyway. It's supposed to be Monday through Friday, but being a warehouse retail type job, you know, that's how it is sometimes, I guess. They want you to still work on weekends or whatever sometimes, but there wasn't even really hardly no work. In fact, yesterday, we had to pretty much try to find stuff to do and look like we was busy. So it was actually ignorant to be trying to, for, for them to have us come in today anyway. So I don't know why they thought that was a good idea, but whatever. <coughs> um, but yeah, as far as uh, stuff to talk about, I've actually got so many different things I can tell you about that it's kind of hard to think about how I really want to get started. Um, but what I'll talk about too is, as far as staying in the van so far, uh, this past week uh, I was, well like I said, I've had the van for about a week now. In fact, today's Saturday, so yeah, I got last Saturday. So you might as well say one full week now as far as how long I've actually had the van. But uh, what I did though was I actually made a deal at first though with my sister to stay at her house at least for a few days. Uh, not all in a row, I mean it was a day or two here and there, but the reason why was because it was actually uh, real cold out on certain days here in, here in Dayton. And I don't have, well I do now, I've got propane tanks now for my Mr. Buddy heater, but at the time I only had one propane tank. So, that being the case, I was only good for one day. And after that, I was freezing my butt off because the temperatures was getting down to 15 degrees and there was one time I even got down to four degrees. So, I had made an agreement with her to um, stay at her house and I would pay her when I got paid. So, she was fine with doing that. I was paying her uh, $10 a day for each day I was staying at her house. That, was, that way I was able to keep warm and stuff still. But, um, I've actually been in the process of selling my car too, and my um, son's mom's brother is what I'm selling the car to, and he's been making payments to me. But you know, it would have been better, of course, if I would have got everything all up front. Then I would have been just fine. I could have got several tanks already from the get-go, and I could have had food stocked up, all kind of stuff. But you know, I'm being a nice guy and helping him out too, though. So by letting, by letting him make payments, so whatever. But um, he made another payment to me yesterday with a little bit of money so I was able to get myself some more um, propane tanks for the Mr. Buddy heater so you might as well say that's at least two more days worth as far as being set. Uh, another thing I did too recently was um, it was like two I think it was two nights ago 
I was able to go to uh, Walmart and I seen they got a um, they had a pretty good deal on a sleeping bag. They got a sleeping bag that's um, ready for 30 degrees, ready down to 30 degrees. So I went ahead and grabbed that. That was uh, just 20 bucks. Uh, as far as the construction part of it, especially like the zipper and all that, to be honest, I don't think it's like the best type of zipper in the world because it's a little bit flimsy, I think. But as far as how it feels, it is comfortable. And as far as keeping you warm, it definitely does keep you warm though at night too. Um, but luckily too, the past like two to three days now, at least the past two days anyways, uh, it's been kind of warm now. It changed over. Being Dayton weather, that's how it is though. I mean, one day it'll be warm, another day it'll be cold especially in the wintertime stuff so you just gotta expect that here in Dayton, Ohio but uh, <clears throat> like that past uh, day or, well past two days I think it's been in the 50s and as far as at nighttime too it's been in the 40s so as far as sleeping in the sleeping bag I haven't even had to use my Mr. Buddy heater it's been just fine as far as that goes also too uh, where did I put that thing at um, oh here it is I actually had myself some breakfast too <laughs> It was an oatmeal cream pie and a um, cheap version of Mountain Dew. Put this right here for a second. <laughs> this right here has actually came in pretty handy. At first I was using a um, McDonald's large cup to pee in in the middle of the night. But then last night I was able to go to uh, Dollar Tree and for one dollar I was able to get this big old jug and now I'm set in as far as being able to have something to pee in the night. So that definitely has came in handy for sure. Also last night too, after work I went ahead and uh, was able to try to get this van cleaned out a little bit. I mean it still actually is a big time mess right now. But I was up actually able to get a decent amount of stuff out of here as far as still trash and stuff like that. Something I've been wanting to do for a little bit of time, but because I'm working full time too, that's another problem is I don't really hardly have time to do anything. I don't have time to hardly clean this thing up. And uh, definitely, you know, as you can see, I hardly have time to make any videos and stuff too. Since I actually called off work today, I didn't actually even go to work, then that's why I'm actually able to make a video right now too for that matter. Otherwise, I probably still wouldn't even have time today to do it for that matter. Um, in fact, tomorrow is probably where I'm going to be uploading this video as well. Like I said, today is the 21st of December, so I'll probably end up uploading this tomorrow. The reason being is because I still got some things I want to try to get done today. And um, I want to try to, uh, well, I mean, definitely too. Of course, I got my son's uh, birthday party that we're going to do too, as well. Um, as far as showing you some other um, things I've done, though. What I did was I also went to Menards, it's not too far from where I'm staying at, or, well, <laughs> in this area anyways, and I got myself the particle board, um, oh, well, OSB board is what it's called, excuse me, um, I think it's like a quarter inch thick, but uh, it was definitely a long board, it was so long that I was barely able to get it inside this van as far as in this um, back area. But, you know, what I did too was I went ahead and got myself a, um, a cheap handsaw. I don't have any power tools right now, which does kind of take me off because it would definitely be nice. But, um, I'll, you know, I'll have to work on getting that later on down the line anyways. But I went ahead and bought myself a, um, a handsaw, and I saw off a good, um, decent portion of it to where it would be, um, um, in other words, still a good size as far as... Uh, having some sleeping area, sleeping room to um, sleep on, so I've got my um, sleeping bag on top of it right now. And later on down the line, I plan on getting a uh, futon mattress and putting that on top of it, and then putting the sleeping bag on top of the futon mattress. Then that way, I should be real good. Definitely, well, that way, I should be uh, good to go. Um, oh, another thing I want to do too, of course, is. Uh, also, actually, as far as the price too, though, this wasn't too bad. As far as the OSB board, it was um, eight something for the whole uh, sheet, so I don't think that was too bad. Maybe I'm off or something, but as far as my prices, but I don't think that was too bad. And um, oh, another thing I was going to say was that later down the line, I want to also uh, go back to um, Menards again and get myself a um, a round. Uh, what's it called? brown um, piece of wood it's kind of long it's um can't even think about how you want how you would call that right now but uh that way i can 
use that as far as uh, the corners because I want to put, uh, of course, um, a corner on each side of this so this can have something to stand on and that way we can have storage underneath it as well. And what I want to do is about one foot. I want to do at least about one foot, maybe even a little bit longer than that. I'll have to still do some measurements again to see. Uh, but with these existing shelves and all that, I got to make sure I don't go too high because I still want to be able to use these shelves and stuff that I have in here though in the van. Um, also too, as far as the van goes, uh, right now it is getting me by, but later down the line too, I might still see about maybe getting uh, something different, maybe trading this in for something better as far as um, um, like a newer model type thing. The reason being is because, you know, right now this is getting the job done and I am able to use it, but it does still have some issues though because like it's rusted a, a decent amount. Um, there's areas where you can definitely see, um, you know, light and air coming right through as far as the... Um, you know, as far as the doors and stuff like that, uh, like the side doors and the back doors and all that. I mean, it is a work van, so I mean, definitely can be expecting too much. But you know, especially still in the winter time right now, with that air coming through like that, that's not a good thing. Now, of course, I could um, do some insulating myself and insulate some of these areas I'm talking about. But you know, that's still some work and still some money to have to put into it as well which, you know, I've already done a little bit as far as work goes, as far as um, getting the board, of course, but I was going to do that anyways. The board that I'm sleeping on anyways, is what I'm saying. But I was going to do that, of course, anyways, though, so that goes without saying on that. Uh, so I don't know. I'll just have to do some thinking and see how my money goes and stuff like that. See how it is going to end up uh, playing itself out. We'll just, we'll just have to see on that one. Uh, another thing I do plan on doing <coughs> is when I get my next check, I do plan on uh, doing some grocery shopping for sure and stocking up on food, of course. And I plan on seeing if I can also get a, uh, a cooler, a decent sized cooler that I can put some ice in sometimes and, uh, you know, put sandwich type stuff, you know, lunch meat and stuff like that in there. That way I can make some sandwiches and stuff too. And as far as the food uh, type of thing, I plan on. Well, what, I would probably, what I'm going to probably try to see if I can go ahead and do is get myself a few buckets, maybe at least two or three di different um, buckets, and getting a whole bunch of can goods too, and putting those cans inside the buckets, and that way it'll be easier to store those here in the van, and I can even maybe even stack, stack those up as well, and that way it won't even take up a whole lot of room either for that matter. And that way I'll be good to go as far as food goes. Um, I mean, right now I do have a few little things here and there. Like you see, I've got the oat milk cream pie things. I've got a few things as far as like chips here and there. Um, we got a two liter of pop. Got some. We got a jug of water as well. Uh, we got a can of soup over there. I'm gonna be using that for work and stuff too. Got myself some. Um, Some uh, Cliff Crush Bar um, breakfast type bars or whatever, so these are not too bad. So I've got a few little things here and there already, but uh, I don't know. I mean, it's something that I still need to work on for sure. Still need to get this thing stocked up as far as food goes. <coughs> that way, I don't have to worry about going to the store all the time as far as getting some meat, especially as far as like in the morning time if I already had some cereal and already had some milk and had a cooler then. I would have been just fun as far as having a decent breakfast corn because I've already, already got some bowls and uh, spoons and stuff too. Some um, throwaway bowls and throwaway spoons and stuff. So I'm good to go on that. Um, what else was I going to say? Oh, another thing I was going to tell you about too. These things right here, these are like lifesavers. These uh, hand warmers that actually last uh, 10 hours. And these things came in real handy because. Uh, there was another two that I was also still staying in my van though when it was uh, real cold out though. In fact, one time I think it got to around 20 degrees, and um, of course I didn't have my uh, have no more um, pro um, propane for my Mr. Buddy heater and stuff. So what I had to do was get those uh, hand warmers. I put one on each. Uh, I had you know multiple hand well I had two different hand warmers anyways I was using at the time. I put one on each uh, pocket and then I wrapped myself up real good um, 
in my blanket because at the time I just still had my um still had my um my comforter, my comforter blanket. So I wrapped myself up real good in that. But I was still pretty cold though. I will say that for sure. I was definitely cold. And um another thing that actually came in pretty handy too was this thing right here. It's called um fancy heat, I guess is what it's called. But um you can screw off the top and it's got a wick in it and it's got um fuel that's in, in the can itself and you can just slide it up and that way you can you know put your hands over top of that and get yourself kind of warm and stuff too. So that definitely came in handy as well too, I'll tell you that. I'm gonna blow my nose. Uh, I got some congestion and stuff too from probably from last night. Sorry about that. Uh, But anyways, um, oh yeah, another thing too is in the previous video, or well, the last video that I made before, I was talking about how um, I still got these tires that's in here, which I still even got them right now. <coughs> but yesterday, I did actually get on to, um, well, I did actually get on Google and look it up, which I should have done it even sooner, but I just wasn't thinking about it. But I uh, got on Google and looked it up, and it turns out that there is uh, waste management facilities here in Dayton, one is north and one is south. And uh, they let you um, take tires there, and you can take t up to 10 tires per year there and dispose of them there for free. Of course, after the uh, 10 tires, and they start to charge you after that, but if I would have looked it up sooner, then I could have even already had, had that done and taken care of and had these things out of here. So, you know, that's on me anyways. You live and learn, of course. But, um, so yeah, that's something I need to take care of. And as far as this, um, you know, as bad as it's actually raining today, I don't know if I'm actually going to get that taken care of still today or not, because I really don't want to be out in the rain like that. But I might. We'll just have to see. If it lights up, then yeah, I'll definitely go ahead and do that. Uh, but what I need to do too is still make sure that no matter what, though, at around 4 o'clock, I'm actually ready to go and ready to be at my son's uh, party or we're going to be done with that. For, uh, me, me and his mom, we decided actually to go half on it for the uh, Chuck E. Cheese party. What I'm going to do too is um, get online. I've already been online before and check out the prices. They've got coupons you can print out. So we, it's like $40 and you get a pizza, all you can eat is hell bar, uh, four drinks and a bunch of tokens and stuff. And plus she said she was going to get some extra tokens as well too. So we'll be good to go as far as uh, having some fun. So my son and his brother, which is her other son, will be having a ball today at his party. We'll be having some fun. I'll be glad too though because I always love spending time with my son though. He means everything in the world to me. Um, oh, another thing too, I was going to talk about this van. I see that's another reason too. Why I might have to see about finding something different later on down the line. Because this van is a gas hog big time. This, is, this van actually is a V8. So this thing just drinks up the gas on a regular basis. And uh, <clears throat> what I had to do was um, a few days ago, it was probably like, I think it was like four days ago or something like that. And um, I actually had to end up missing work because the night before, uh, what happened was I had I was on, on the way to my sister's house because I think it was one of the nights I was going to stay over there anyways. But anyways, um, what happened to actually run out of gas. Luckily though, I was able to have a uh, coast down the hill on a side street and I was able to park it on the side street and nobody uh, had messed with it though luckily on that but uh, the next day I had to miss work and I had to um, go to a plasma place and donate plasma and get myself some uh, money for gas and then I happened to go to um, a Dollar General store I think it was either Dollar General or Family Dollar I can't remember which one to try to look for a can and I was just asking the clerk there if uh, they sold gas cans but um, before she was able, actually able to even say anything, there was a lady there that said, you need a gas can? And I said, yeah. And she said, well, come on, I'll give you one for free. So that was real nice of her to do that then. So she said it was Christmas time. She said that that's why she was doing that. Didn't have a, um, a lid on there. But still, I walked up the street to, uh, well, I first went to the gas station, got some gas in there, and then walked up the, the street to where um, my van was at, put the uh, gas inside the van, and like open up the doors anyways and put it inside the van that way to hold the gas and then 
to walk right back down the street to where there was a dollar tree and got myself a funnel so that way i was still have, you know good to go as far as that goes went back to my van and i put the um put the gas you know in with the funnel and stuff so that way, they, that way I was actually able to still uh, get my van back down to the gas station and get some gas in it again. So that's another reason why I might still look better down the line for something different though because of how much of a gas hog this thing is. Of course, since I've already got a bought and paid for them, when I start to get some paychecks in as far as my work, it won't be as bad now. I won't have to worry about being as broke and be, you know, struggling as much as I am right now as far as trying to still make sure I got gas and food and everything else like that. But it's just a matter of getting to that point first, because right now, you know, we don't. My work only pays um, every two weeks. You know, pay um, every week, so it's a bit of a hassle right now trying to, you know, make it to the next check and stuff and trying to get things done. But uh, hopefully, it won't be too much longer, and I'll be able to get to the point where I want to be. Actually, I'm about to check something else out real quick first. Okay. Whoops. That was weird. There was a um, ambulance van that was uh, parked either next space over or the one after that, uh, pretty close. So they just got done backing up. So I don't know, maybe they were just turning around or something. I just wanted to check it out because, like I said, I'm still actually in stealth camping mode right now too, for that matter. So need to make sure I'm on the lookout and be aware of my surroundings and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I mean, overall, though, things are coming together, though, pretty good. Um, it's just a matter of trying to make it right now, day by day, till I can get by to my next check and stuff. And then, uh, also, too, another thing I plan on doing is, uh, when I get my next check, I plan on starting to uh, work on and getting things going again, too, as far as doing some online uh, stuff, as far as doing my um, online marketing that I've talked about before in the past. So what I could do, at the very least anyways, is go ahead and buy myself a website again, uh, pay for the hosting and stuff like that. Uh, there is a website, well there, okay, well, as far as the website goes, you can either do a .net or a .com, but if you do a .net, it's going to be a lot cheaper, because of course this is all stuff that I've looked at in the past and researched and studied you know, on in the past, and I probably even forgot it a lot more than what a lot of people even, even know for that matter. Uh, with all the stuff I've researched and studied in the past as far as the stuff goes. I mean, of course, though, too, don't get me wrong, there's still a lot of stuff I need to learn. It's not like I know every single thing in the world about this stuff, though. But um, as far as a .NET, a lot of times you can get that for like $2. As far as a .com, it's going to be like $12 or more, but still it's not that bad. But um, it just depends on, you know, what kind of domain name you're, that you're getting and stuff like that. Uh, but also, too, as far as hosting goes, you got different choices on that, but um, one of the ones I found actually that is the cheapest was actually only twenty dollars for uh, for a full year. You pay looks well, like nineteen ninety five or something like that, but you might as well say twenty bucks for a full year, and um, that way you're good to go. Because some of them they might charge you, you know, like seven dollars a month, or you might even you know maybe get one for like three dollars a month or something like that. But uh, you know, still I can add up over the months goes, you know, over the, you know, over time or whatever, but you can pay a straight flat fee, $20 a month, and you're good to go for the whole year. And, um, so I'm going to try to see if I can go ahead and get that set up too, and be good to go on that. I'll probably see if I can just go ahead and pay, uh, two years up front, but I'll have to see, because I'll have to see how much my check is. Because another thing too is, uh, child support is also coming out of my checks now too. This past check I got, the same check I used when I got my van, I noticed that the uh, child support is coming out too, which is fine. I mean, because you know, obviously I want to get that paid anyways, and I've even talked about that in my previous videos. That I want to go ahead and get the child support paid down and try to get that, um, you know, down as far as I can, as quick as I can, and stuff too. So, you know, it is what it is on that one. 
But I'm just saying that I just got to see how much my stick is going to be because I've already got certain things that I want to do. Like I said, I want to go grocery shopping. Of course, I got to get gas too and, you know, different things like that. So it can add up to still as far as all my checks go. So we'll have to see how things are going to go. But, but um, yep. I think that's about it. As far as updates I wanted to talk about, what time is it? I forgot what time I even started making this video. So I don't even know how long this video is for that matter. But luckily too, of course, I've got a set to where my videos can go over 10 minutes though, for sure on my channel. So that way you can get a full understanding as far as what's going on with my life. And now I can tell you everything that is going on and stuff like that. So, but yeah, um, if you do have any questions or concerns at all, about anything that I've talked about this video or about anything in the uh, previous videos as well let me know and I'll get back to you as soon as I can of course always keep in mind that you know sometimes it might take me a day or two to get back to you because of not being able to get online every single day because of working full time and stuff like that but you know that's just how it has to be for right now until I'm able to start working full time on my internet stuff though internet marketing and stuff like that um, any, and to it as well, if you ever have any questions in the future as far as internet marketing goes, um, what kind of things you might, you know, what kind of things get into as far as how to make some extra money online or uh, as far as how to advertise and stuff like that, let me know. And I'll still give you some uh, tips and advice on that as well too, though, I'll try to help you out. But, I mean, that's it. So, thanks again for watching and uh, you have a great day.